Well, that was mildly disturbing. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... <laughs> Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? The room. The camera. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Can I crouch? Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. The magician. Hey. I'm already dressed. It's July 18th. Everything I need is always in my bag. Key to my trinket box. Oh shit. Oh! What the f this game's huge! Oh! There's a lot to explore, I guess. Here is my diary. Nice. No oh, sketches. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lafe more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lafo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Nanny will be visiting me soon. 
so when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Here's the whole family together. A very rare thing indeed. I'm already dressed. It's me with the nanny. Or maybe it was Martha. No one can remember. This is not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. It's about half past nine. My dress, the one Martha wore when she was... How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. There's no shortage of paintings in our house. Mum is passionate about painting. As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is a sin. I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth.
firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients, reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers, and an unexpected distribution of jam. Realizing my microphone was turned off that whole time. What? Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Okay. More Gulia. Take more and more photos. Dad. Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these times. For Julia. To take more and more photos. Dad. Oh. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph the sparrow. There are so many of them out here. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. What does that hell hidden on this whole press game story? Okay. No camera skin. Okay. Gonna take a break. <laughs> 